Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we're going to do a range comparison with the CZ75 SP01 Phantom and the Beretta PX4 Storm Type D double action only. Both full size handguns. The Beretta has mags that carry 17 rounds, 18 in the Phantom. Let's start with the Phantom. What a nice handgun this is. Often considered one of my favorite CZ handguns is right here, the Phantom. Unfortunately, CZ discontinued this model. It, actually, for the second time it was out, they discontinued it, they brought it back, they discontinued it just in 2019. I'm happy to have my hands on it. Now, it models the all steel model, same upper. Well, not the same, but similar. It will work on both. 18 round magazines. Any CZ variant mag will work in this the larger ones I should say full pick rail luminescent sights uh, 4.6 inch barrel this is the decocker model so it decocks the hammer and quarter cock an amazing single action trigger and a polymer frame opposed to the all steel model and just a great shooting handgun same disassemble and everything else the reason I consider this one of my favorites even more than the CZ75 SP01 steel frame is that it is just so smooth. I do like the way it feels. Interchangeable back straps are available, long beaver tail, all similar things, but I don't know what it is. I just, I love this gun. I love this gun and the Rammy. Um, we're looking at about 600 bucks when it was in production. So let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll bring out the PX4 Storm. Love it. And I just feel confident. You may have noticed that I shot rather quickly, especially on a couple of those. You line up those sights, because it is getting dark out here, and those luminescent sights just jump out. And the hammer's cocked back, and then we'll put it in quarter cock, which would be a good way to carry it. All right, instead of the full double action, you can move it in quarter cock, and you're looking at there. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and check out the reset right there. All right, CZ75 SP01 Phantom. But now we've got, I picked this gun up for a steel three and a quarter. I got this used, and I've been very happy with it. Now, I mentioned that when I got this this I, I was going to meet a guy very nice man I thought it was a double action single action it's just double action only type D now believe it or not Beretta discontinued this one too a while ago and I don't know why it has a great double action trigger pull and what ended up happening is I, I have fallen in love with it now it's a little rough around the edges that's fine it holds 17 rounds, I think that's really good. Four inch barrel, known for its rotating barrel. Well, let me get that in frame. Rotating barrel, kind of feels like an eight, eight and a half pound trigger pull. Also, luminescent sights, okay? If you don't know what that is, that means they glow in the dark. That's an easy way to say it. Not a full pick rail, but an accessory rail. And a nice shooting handgun. Now, I've been comparing this with other handguns. And people who have the PX4 Storm love it. And they've told me for a long time, hey, why don't you get that PX4 Storm? And I said, I would if I could get one. And I got one, but I got one that's, that's discontinued, unfortunately. But that's okay. Did I shoot it? Oh. And there it is. If you're a revolver shooter, uh, if you shoot car arms handguns, you know, anything double action, this would make a nice choice if you could even find one. Very few reviews on the web, but I, I am fond of it. It's less expensive than the CZ model. Um, well, I told you I paid three and a quarter for it. This goes right around 600. Probably, I, you know, I don't even know. I think the MSRP, I'll put it uh, down below, probably right around $500 for the PX4 Storm. But here we go. CZ. 75 SP01 Phantom discontinued and the Beretta PX4 Storm Type D for double action only discontinued. But if you had to choose one, 
which would it be? I will tell you right now, without hesitation, I would take the CZ75 SP01 Phantom. Love the Phantom, I think it's a phenomenal model. It's newer, you know, given that both these are mine, I really don't have a bias, but it is newer. And I do like this a lot. I'm really happy with the double action trigger pull and everything that this offers. But I feel like this is worth the additional money. It's a price I'm willing to pay. And I'm glad I got each of these because they're, they're discontinued for like the 18th time. But I'm glad I have them in my hands and that I own them because you won't be seeing them at your local gun store in the you in the new section anyways and so uh which one of these would you choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe